you ever been caught in a lie? I see some head nods, yeah. It happens to everybody. It can be kind of embarrassing for you. But telling the truth can be embarrassing sometimes too. And I'm going to argue for one over the other here shortly. Tell you a story about a time I lied. Last time I, one time I was here, I told a story when I was a kid when I lied. But I'll tell you a story, it's just about a month ago where I lied. Right now I'm trying to become a better speaker, so I'm going to Toastmasters meetings, and I went to a different Toastmasters meeting, and as you saw at the beginning, we did a table topics portion at that meeting. I volunteered to go at this meeting. And the question was very simple. It was, share a memory with your mother. And I like to tell stories, so I was trying to think of a good story. I had that in my head, like, I need to think of a good story. And it was like five seconds of silence, and then I, then I kind of mumbled to myself, ah, I'm trying to think of a good story. And it was like five more seconds of silence. It's kind of awkward, and I just made something up. And I told a story about, I said, me and my mom were driving, and it was a rainy summer day, and I got lost in the story, and it ended with me and my mom in a snowbank. But at the beginning of the story, I said it was a rainy summer day. <laughs> after I sat down, I noticed kind of a weird vibe. <laughs> I think a few people caught on to me. And that was kind of embarrassing. But another time where I had the opportunity to either tell the truth or lie, this kind of guided me through my life, this story. It was, I was 15 or 16, hanging out with some friends, we were bored, and we decided we're gonna go TP a house, it's toilet paper house, if you don't know the slang TP. Um, but we're bored, it's a, I think it's a Friday night, we have nothing to do. We decided we're gonna go to this girl's house, TP, it'll, it'll be funny. Um, so we go to the store, we buy a bunch of toilet paper, and drive to this girl's house, park down the street a little bit, so we're discreet. Go over to the house, just cover it in toilet paper. I'm with two of my friends, Jesse and Joe. Cover it in toilet paper. Um, trees, the bushes, everything. And it's a work of art, we do a wonderful job. Um, and we get done, go back to the car, we're kind of talking, laughing about what we just did. We're gonna go back to my house, watch a movie. And we go, as we're about to pull on to the, our street, we see a cop car coming the other way. And my friend Joe, he's, he's kind of like a little bit, he's, he's a nice, funny guy, he's kind of short, but he, he was more of like a rule follower, and he starts freaking out, Mark, what, Mark and Jesse, what, what are we gonna do? They're definitely coming for us. We're like, calm down, you know, we don't know that they're gonna pull us over. We pull into our street, the lights come on immediately. We pull a couple houses down from mine, so it, like the lights aren't flashing in my windows. Um, and we're kind of talking like, what should, we, what should we do? What should we tell them? What were we going? Before you know it, there's a cop car, driver's side, Jesse's driving, he said, Sir, you're gonna come with me immediately. Pulls them out of the car, says, and we hear kind of muffled voices, the windows are closed, um, and we, we don't know what to say. Me and Joe are talking like, what, what should we say? We, we don't know, should we make something up or tell the truth? Before you know it, we go to the driver's side where Joe's sitting, and Joe rolls down the window. He said, what were you boys doing tonight? And Joe says, oh, we're throwing some toilet paper around immediately. <laughs> and kind of looks back at me and says, you too? Is that what you're doing? And like, I couldn't lie at that point. So I just said, yep, that's, that's what we're doing, sorry. And cop kind of steps back a little bit, looks over at Jesse and the other cop that's with Jesse and says, oh, that's interesting because Jesse over here told us you were going out for ice cream. 
<laughs> so the cop then goes on to say, I'm going to tell you what, you two in the car, you're free to go. Walk to your house. I, I see, I saw your license. You live right down the street. Walk to your house. And Jesse is going to come down with us to the police station. So as we were walking into my house, we were kind of like, so Jesse being in the back of the cop car, we're like, oh, so, sorry, Jesse. And, you know, we didn't know. But the truth had quite literally set us free. Now, and this is where I learned that honesty is a very important quality to have. Now, you might be thinking you don't go around vandalizing property anymore, you know, and you don't, you don't get in trouble with the law. Why do you need to tell the truth? Maybe somebody asks you if they look fat in an <laughs> outfit, and they do. You, they do. What should you do? I would argue that you should try to tell the truth in every situation, no matter what. <laughs> because when you, when you lie and people see, see that you're a liar, they, they won't trust anything that you say. So there's a quote from Mark Twain. It's, it's credited to him. There's a ton of quotes credited to Mark Twain. But it says, if you just tell the truth, you don't have to have a good memory. So, like, like I wouldn't have to have a good memory if I would have just told a true story, or I just it wasn't a great story, and I just said something that wasn't that interesting. But I would argue, try to tell the truth in every situation, and the truth will set you free. Thank you.